Support comes from UT's Lady Bird Johnson Wildflower Center, featuring miles of trails and nearly 900 native plant species. More about the official Botanic Garden of Texas at wildflower.org. It's not where we wanted them to grow, it's where they like to grow. So I just play with them and make them happy. I think this, this is the secret of the success on the garden, to make the plants garden. After all, they make us happy. Hi, I'm Ana Lopez, and my husband, Julio Lopez, uh, moved here back in 2018. We was thinking to downsize after living in a nice house um, surrounded by um, preserve area, privacy place, we love it, but we decided to downsize, and it was hard for us to find a place. Um, you know, with a little bit of privacy, especially because we like the garden and um, we wanted to have a land where we can, you know, enjoy and plant what we want, fruit trees or roses, I love roses. And one day um, we crossed by this location and Julio uh, say, look at that lot, this is our place. And I started on my mind, you know, and a piece of paper drawing my my design, let's say a design. I say, oh, I, I wanted to plant this here and that over there. So we started a project and then we was just playing around. Oh, Julio say, no, I don't want this here. I want this there. We started like even um, a year before <laughs> they start the building. After all, we move and then um, Julio go to work and then I start digging. We noticed the soil, it was not good for the garden. And we asked for a mix of, you know, garden beds, soil, and we just, you know, pay and they deliver some and then we just mix it and that's, that's basically it. I think I have a green thumb because my mom did. We just like to mix uh, plants where they like to grow. We don't have a plan, you know, we just like to plant the plants that we, we like, and then if they do good in one spot, good. If they don't, they just move it around. The garden bed in the middle is because um, one day um, a neighbor uh, passed and say, can I look at your garden? And I say, yes, and she just walk inside. And then after she looks everything and it's beautiful, she asked, where's the vegetable garden? And I was like, oh, oh, we don't have a vegetable garden because I'm a flower a uh, person, not the vegetable person, but I was like, mm, okay, uh, let's plan a vegetable garden here, Julio, can you help? After we did the rose garden, we moved to another area, and I decided to have a herb garden because I, lo I love to cook. That's my other hobby. I love to cook, and I like to have mint in my garden, so, this special mint reminds me of my mom because she always cook, uh, you know, with that kind of mint. And then I add some uh, thyme because I love thyme. So we have plants that live with us um, so many years. I have one plant that uh, I think is the first plant I got um, uh, because I read in magazines, you know, and, and I noticed the flowers and not knowing that they don't live in Texas. It's only at north, but I like them. It's like, it's the peony. So I decided to buy one and keep it for, in a pot for so many years in the first house uh, that we own. And then we moved to the second one. So we took the plant to another one. After I noticed it blooms, then I, I decided to buy another one and then ano another one. We have three. And they bloom once in a while, not all the time, not every year. And then the, uh, the river rocks around. It's because we like to mix things like, um, for instance, agaves or my succulents. And I noticed it looks uh, clean. My husband always wanted to have a pond. And I mean, I know it's, it's hard and, um, and we think about in other ho houses that we live in. I mean, it, I, we did it uh, at one point, but then, uh, uh, you know, the raccoons and other types of animals come and, and take about at night and destroy everything. So we just give up. 
But I wanted to have a water lily anyway, and I I found this uh, big water pot that we can fill and put uh, water plants in there. And we have this water lily that I love, and and it's with us for so many years as well. I like to plant uh, rose bushes, you know, and uh, trellises, and, and I and I say, Julio, can you make me an arbor in here? So he did the first one, and I have a Peggy Martin a rose in there, and another one growing on the other side. And and then he say, I wish to have a, a grapevine. So and I say, Well, you need to do another arbor because there's no place for your grapevine in here. So he end up and uh, and and um, end up doing another one on the back uh, side. And now we have the the grape grapevine. And uh, we really enjoy uh, uh, looking, you know, every morning. And then um, it was kind of empty in there. So our son knows that we have so much love for Our Lady of Guadalupe. So he uh, contacted this artist, uh, Austin artist. Um, uh, uh, his name is Federico. And he painted that beautiful image of the Our Lady of Guadalupe. I like to to recycle but also like to add some color because we like to see bright colors so that's why we chose the purple and the green together and i like blues so i always dream to have a gate a different gate for the entrance we always uh, know about the secret garden and i was dreaming about a gate so one day we was uh, heading to the mall and and we noticed this antique store and I I said look Julio stop and we saw the the door it was I mean all damaged and and we asked if they uh, have that for sale they don't even know the price but we end up having the the, the gate door so we came and we sent it and we just painted uh, you know the color we like the neighbors love it and they just pass and they say, oh, I love your gate. It looks like a secret garden. Can I go in? And ask? Of course, everybody's welcome. We have shade in this uh, area. And then in the afternoon, sun hits all in here. But then we can move around. And there we have another patio in the back. And it's shady in the afternoon. So we just move from one place to another. In the morning, we drink coffee in here. And in the afternoon, we go and chat on the other side. We like the sound of the water because, you know, relax us. I mean, the sound of the water is just amazing. And we like to sit and have this, uh, you know, peaceful retreat. So we decided to have it closer to the patio because it's a shady area at some point, and then the birds come and uh, like to to take a bath. I think it's important to uh, care of uh, the environment. Even if we don't like some plants, I mean, we just leave it, just leave it for the birds because we provide uh, food for, for, for every um, insect, for every bird, for every butterfly. And as well for our friends, you know, to let them come and our neighbors to let them come and walk. Because we wanted to share, you know, the peaceful garden that we have this is our uh, place where we enjoy and we relax and it's a stress-free zone for us. When people say, oh, I'm going to the gym, and I say, oh, I'm going to mine because this is my gym. I, I dig out and I work hard <laughs> every day because, you know, having a garden, you know, it's a hard work. It's nothing like you plant and forget about it. It's something that you have to put love and uh, all your energy, but it pays off. We always enjoy watching the birds and the butterflies, and it's just amazing to be able to create a place where we can relax and enjoy every single day.